Hello, it's Mr. O'Mara here. Sometimes you want to have a much bigger playing area that you can actually see on the screen at any given time. So first of all, let's have a look at this game where we can see the whole playing area at once. As you can see, this is extraordinarily... Um, my little um, object there in the middle is absolutely tiny. You can't read the score, although it is nice and easy to see where the planet is. I'll just point to it with my mouse. There it is. Um, so it's both easy to get to, but um, yeah, actually probably tremendously boring. So here's what we're going to do. Rather than seeing the whole screen at once, we're going to go to our room and we're going to have a look at the Views tab. So I'm going to say Enable the use of Views, and I'm just going to create one view here, which is View 0. It's visible when the room starts. And what I'm actually saying is that the view is 1200 pixels wide and 700 pixels high. Again, I have set that on port on screen. I'm actually not sure how these two things are different. And crucially, I'm setting it to follow the object of the flying saucer or the object saucer. Now, these values are how close it can get to the edge of the screen. So basically, when I get within 300 pixels horizontally of the edge of the screen, the screen's going to start scrolling across so that I can see what's coming, which is important in a game like this. The other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the global, global game settings and I'm going to start in full screen mode at 100%. That just means that my graphics don't get scrunched up and look any uglier than they have to. So let's have a look at what this game looks like now that I can only see a view as I'm moving around. Okay, so here we can see that view that I've described and now I'm much closer to the action. Uh, which makes it more playable, and you can see the graphics better, such as they are, but it also means that it's actually harder to find um, the random planet. So what I'm doing is I've got a much bigger game space, but I'm only looking at it in a view. So that's probably good for finding things in mazes or in really big areas if you want to, for people to get from one area to another, but I hope that's useful to you using views in your game.